I just didn't understand why you was crying. You won the Oscar and the fight. What the f you got to cry? Smell one thing. Mm -hmm. Why? Why so far? You guys went so far. I lost so much. Comedian D.L. Hewley has always been a truthful man. Following the ugly incident that happened between Chris Rock and Will Smith back in 2022, Hewley shared his two cents on Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars for joking about his wife Jada Pinkett's bald head. And according to him, Chris will always be the man who got slapped by Will at the Oscars and needs to be celebrated. There has been a lot of, of attention given um, to Will's mindset that night. Um, the night that uh, th there's a lot of attention given to what it must have driven him to this. How Will's reaction to the joke Rock made obviously didn't amuse Hewley, and now the veteran comedian is revealing some ugly details about Will, especially during his time as the main cast in the famed sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Rumors have been going around that Will used to mistreat his co-casts, but just how is that? Let's find out. In 1990, NBC took a chance on the young Grammy-winning hip-hop artist Will Smith and the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Though the show worked its way into everyone's hearts with its thoughtful plot lines, infectious theme song, and Smith's raw charisma, the cast of Fresh Prince was decidedly not chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. They were busy writing petty notes in a Mean girl style burn book and feuding with their fellow actors. Will Smith was leading the line here. Much of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's behind-the-scenes drama dealt with the cast's grievances involving the actor playing the original Aunt Viv. Over three seasons, Janet Hubert failed to see eye-to-eye -eye with the show's biggest stars and had her hand in the juiciest tidbits of Fresh Prince drama. A whopping 22 years later, most of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's biggest secrets have already been aired, but these dark Fresh Prince stories also paint a picture of a rap star who struggled with his newfound TV stardom amid feuds with his on-screen family, record label, and even the U.S. government. For starters, it was revealed that Will was forced to star in the sitcom because he owed the IRS $2.8 million. If the actor never got into major financial trouble, we might not have the critically acclaimed movie star version of Will Smith we love today, you know, the one that delivered such blockbuster greatness as Men in Black and Independence Day. Will rose to fame with his work in the hip-hop duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and Amp The Fresh Prince. The duo landed Grammy Awards for their hits, Parents Just Don't Understand and Summertime. And with great fame came lots of money, which Smith poorly managed. After failing to pay sufficient income taxes, the young rapper found himself owing the government $2.8 million. The IRS, as you would expect, seized his belongings and his income. With bankruptcy looming over his head, Smith had no choice but to star in Benny Medina's semi-autobiographical The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air a role he was picked for by producer Quincy Jones. For the first three years, he paid 70% of his salary from Fresh Prince to the IRS. But that's not it. What D.L. Hewley appears to drive at is the alleged beef between Will Smith and his co-star, original Aunt Viv. Janet Hubert, the original Aunt Vivian in NBC's The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, apparently wasn't too crazy about her on-screen nephew, Will Smith. The pair had major beef, which is part of the reason she left in 1993 and was replaced with Daphne Reed. Most pointedly, Hubert slammed the A-lister for not helping his castmates negotiate for higher wages. He was young and he was inexperienced and I think he simply had to win. In 2016, Hubert called out Smith in an online video. I seem to remember at option time coming to you and saying, with you, maybe we can get a little raise. We thought your influence would help us greatly, like they did on Friends. In turn, Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, defended her husband and slammed his co-star in a radio interview saying, I can say straight up that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show because I know she's gonna dog me in the press. She has basically gone from a quarter of a million dollars a year to nothing. She's mad now, but she's been mad all along. She said once, I've been in the business for 10 years and this snotty nosed punk comes along and gets a show. Aunt Vivian may have had major tensions with Smith, but some people believe that isn't the reason she was booted from the show in 1993. According to some sources, it was a pregnancy that caused Hubert to lose her role. The outspoken actor became pregnant, which allegedly voided a clause in her contract. But is it because he felt like he was a star that Smith decided to treat the rest the way he did? Didn't pay the IRS. In my mind, I mean, I wasn't like trying to avoid paying taxes. I was just like, oh damn, they need their money.
In a past interview, the Oscar winner revealed, me and Jazzy Jeff had come out with a smash hit. We made a bunch of money, we won a Grammy, and the album was triple platinum. I had motorcycles and cars. I called the Gucci store in Atlanta, and I was like, hey, will y'all close it down if I bring my friends? And I'm smiling, but that's stupid. We released our next album, and it was like a flop. Smith added, it was a tragedy. It went like double plastic. I had spent all my money and I didn't forget, but I didn't pay the IRS. In my mind, I wasn't trying to avoid taxes. I was just like, ah, oh, damn, they need their money. The IRS took all that stuff. So I was like, broke, broke, broke. Being famous and broke is a S combination because you're still famous and people recognize you, but they recognize you while you are sitting next to them on the bus. In trouble and hopeless, his then girlfriend suggested Smith just hang around Paramount near the Arsenio Hall show studio in hopes of meeting someone influential. Listening to his girlfriend friend led him to Quincy Jones home who asked him to audition on the spot. Speaking of the impromptu audition, Will said, I was like, F it then. I said yes and I let it rip and I got to the end and everyone's clapping. His performance impressed those gathered enough that Jones quickly demanded his lawyers draw up a contract for Smith to play the lead in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The two-time Academy Award nominee concluded by saying that people should always say yes when the opportunity comes and they should listen to your girlfriends. But even with the success, the awards, the money, and everything that he has achieved, people like Hewley still insist Will has his own demons that people shouldn't ignore, especially how he treated Janet Hubert from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In an interview with an Atlanta radio station in 1993, Smith publicly attacked Janet and said, I can say straight up that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show because I know she's going to dog me in the press, a line that his wife Jada would quote years later. But Janet criticized the show and expressed her dislike for Will Smith in interviews as their public feud played out. She even swore that she would never appear in a reunion episode, and according to TMZ, she said, There will never be a reunion, as I will never do anything with a hole like Will Smith. She continued saying, He is still an egomaniac and has not grown up. This constant reunion thing will never ever happen in my lifetime unless there is an apology, which he doesn't know the word for. For years, people believed that Janet was sacked from the show in 1993, but in the reunion show, she revealed that this isn't actually true. She chose to leave the show as she was pregnant and having problems in her home life, while also experiencing friction with Will Smith on set. Alongside that, she claimed her salary was also cut, forcing her to leave. During the reunion show, she said, There was some friction between Will and I because I was pregnant. Home life was not good at all. I was no longer laughing, smiling, joking because there were things going on that nobody knew about. Always been able to recognize chemistry. Will and Alfonso from the very beginning were just playmates. The HBO Max Fresh Prince reunion show aired on November 18th, 2020. In an exchange, Janet told Smith, I hated what you did. I just hated what you did. You took my career away of 30 something years. She said, struggling not to cry. You just went too far when you were younger and I know you always had to win, she said, referring to the way her professionalism was smeared during the feud. Will responded, I could not do a 30 year celebration of this show and not celebrate you, celebrate your contribution and celebrate your contribution to my life. He continued saying, the person I want to be is someone who protects you, not someone who unleashes dark on you. As well as the reunion show, the pair continued to work things out and ended their long feud two days later on Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk, which aired on November 20th, 2020. And as it turns out, Janet is not the only celebrity who claims to have been bullied by Will Smith. Paul Rodriguez, who worked with Smith on the set of the 2001 biopic, Ali, revealed the once beloved star bullied and humiliated him on a daily basis, making his life a living hell. Rodriguez told the U.S. Sun in an interview last year how he believes Smith's cruel treatment towards him led to him being maligned by much of the cast and crew and almost cut out of the movie entirely, derailing his then burgeoning career in Hollywood. But Smith's own legacy in Tinseltown would erupt in flames more than two decades later when he marched on stage at the Oscars in 2022 and slapped comedian Chris Rock across the face for making a joke about his wife Jada, and now the tides have changed. Dubbed, the slap heard around the world. With the swinging of an open palm, Smith was swatted from the upper echelons of Hollywood royalty and hung out to dry in the court of public opinion. 
Almost overnight, various projects the Fresh Prince was working on were either axed, shelved, or indefinitely suspended. He was also later banned from attending the Academy Awards for the next decade. Rodriguez, meanwhile, said while he feels a great deal of empathy for the situation Smith finds himself in, he hopes he now understands how he made him feel on the set of Ali. Look. I get no joy out of him going through this, but maybe he'll have a lot of compassion for what he put me through because it's a horrible thing to be the butt of the joke," said Rodriguez. After he made me the butt of all his jokes and nasty remarks on Ali, people didn't want to hang out with me no more. It was like the word got out and I had leprosy all of a sudden," he added. That movie was meant to be one of the biggest and most wonderful breaks in my career, but he made it a nightmare, and it all went downhill from there. I was dropped by my management company, and I couldn't get an agent worth a damn," Rodriguez concluded. Even though everything he put me through, I feel sorry for Will Smith. The price he's gonna have to pay is almost bigger than the crime. He was one of the biggest stars in the world, and all this affection people had for him has turned into apathy, all for a moment of stupidity. It's hard for me to find any kind of animosity towards him because I know the feeling of what he's going through, and if someone's bound to this kind of ostracism, you can have compassion and I do. Rodriguez was cast in Ali, a blockbuster movie chronicling the life of the legendary boxer Muhammad Ali as Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, his personal physician and long-serving cornerman. He revealed in an interview last year that the day he landed the role was among the happiest of his life. He also said he was looking forward to the prospect of working with Smith again, having previously starred alongside him in the 1993 rom-com Made in America. Back then, he wasn't the superstar he is now. We hung out quite a lot and everything had always been really friendly between us," Rodriguez said. From time to time, I'd run into him in the studio when we were working on different projects and everything was terrific. So, when I went to audition for Ali after the fifth or sixth time I read for the director Michael Mann, I ran into him again. We stopped and chatted for a little while and I asked him to put in a good word for me. He told me, I think he likes you. I think the part is yours already. When filming started in Chicago and Miami, Rodriguez, who was still starstruck by the A-listers he found himself working beside, said the atmosphere on set was wonderful and cordial. But suddenly, as if a light switch had been flicked, his once friendly relationship with Smith completely soured, which eventually led to him being ostracized and maligned by much of the cast and crew, he claims. Rodriguez said he's unsure if he did anything personally to offend Smith, but pinpointed the beginning of the feud to an alleged incident that happened between Smith and the real Ferdy Pacheco. I was off that day so I didn't see the commotion," Rodriguez told the U.S. Sun. But the real Ferdy Pacheco was on the set, and apparently he was inebriated and went into Will's dressing room and was complaining that his character should have a bigger part and should be played by Danny Garcia instead of me. Things escalated and apparently Pacheco started calling Will the N-word. Police were called and he was escorted off the set. It was bad. Will never looked at me the same from that point onward. Rodriguez returned to the set the day after the alleged incident, unaware of what had transpired between Smith and the real Dr. Pacheco the night before. He arrived to shoot a scene with Smith where he was tasked with lacing up his gloves. As he remembers it, he asked everyone how they were, including Smith, who he claims flat out ignored him. Then suddenly, the star allegedly looked at him, jerked his arms away, and barked at him. You don't know what the F you're doing. And I'm like, Will, I'm just lacing up gloves, the camera isn't even on me right now. I think my lines were something like, stick and move, champ, stick and move. And he just looked at me again and said, you don't know what you're doing, and everything just went drastically downhill from there. In the days and weeks that followed, Rodriguez claims he was routinely mocked and bullied by Smith. Such disparaging behavior would reportedly include Smith ignoring his greetings and questions, in addition to threatening him and turning his fellow cast and crew members against him. So, yeah, it seems Janet is not making anything up. Will Smith is indeed a seasonal bully. Following revelations of how he treated Janet, some netizens took to Twitter, airing their displeasure at how things turned out. One tweeted, It shouldn't have taken as long as it did to get Janet Hubert back working again. Will Smith will always be on my S list for that and it was a half-assed apology he gave her. I don't care, with a second reaction saying, Will Smith still ain't A.S. Janet Hubert's career was on ice for years and his apology was only to benefit him because he and his team knew damn well there couldn't be a fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion without her being present. So there you have it. Do you also believe Will Smith has been a bad co-star to his colleagues over the years? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.